footy's back, especially after that Anzac Day game. I'll tell you what, gentlemen. G'day, I'm Joe Mercedi. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not smoking Joe. Even though uh, there is a direct correlation between our AFL footy skills, uh, I don't know, yeah. turning up a big, you know, big stages, crushing it in the packs. Love to see that. I'm actually James Clemson. I'm the host here of the AFL Today Show. We've also got fresh from the MCG, from that Anzac Day clash, from genuflecting at the, uh, I don't know, the statue of Jamie Billy Elliott that they're now erecting at the yeah. front of that G. It's Alex Donnelly. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, as a neutral, fantastic game. Yeah. And then just at the end of the game, just the, oh. Uh, like, yeah, everyone, the siren yeah. went ever, and a few people went up, and it's like, oh, no, we drew it. Oh, no. And then everyone's like, what, what do we do? We're going to go to the pub now. I've never <laughs> seen a stadium empty so quickly at the end of a game. I Crazy. love that. It was so weird. A man who enjoys kissing cousins is Stats Guy. <laughs> North Melbourne, Tasmania. <laughs> no, the joke. Say, oh, all right, all right. Uh, no, 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 the I'm joke here. is like everyone you, the draws out the draws. It's like kissing your yes, cousins. Yes, it's yes. like, how many cousins <laughs> have you got that you're kissing, you weirdos? I, 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 I thought that was a Tasmania joke. No, yeah, we had a great live stream with uh, Al. That was really good with, uh, yeah, super coach scores, a bit of everything, a bit of fun. They're awesome game. Game of the season, definitely, that 85 all draw. Yeah, it was very fun. The AFL Today live stream was three hours of absolute global, chaos. Global as well. There was, we were, there was people from all parts of the world. We're in New York. We're Boston, in Boston, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, we're Pakistan. Pakistan. Nice, Pakistan. Chaos. Anyway, you can su subscribe to the AFL Today show. What is it? YouTube. Yep. Yeah. All the socials, except uh, for Facebook. But the facey might be up. <laughs> so just saying. Sports Today show. On Sports Facebook. Today show yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Maybe the AFL Today show very soon. But either way, forty <laughs> years back, we have. Five more games after this evening's game, which we previewed on yesterday's show. So we previewed the Wednesday night sh uh, game and the two Thursday Anzac yeah. Day games on mm -hmm. yesterday's show. So Brisbane GWS two. Quick recap: I'm taking Brisbane. You're both going GWS. Yeah, yeah I'm not very confident on that, but it should be a really good game. It starts in about half an hour as we. It feels like this. a letdown ago from ninety three thousand the MCG to six thousand at Monica Oval. It's like a real true, down. but it, at least it's going to be well, hopefully a good game because it's two two top teams. This is just Alex Donnelly and his hatred of the troops again. It's Canberra. <laughs> he, just, he hates Canberra. He just hates the Except diggers. Except for Questacon. He you said you've been there and you saw the uh, Dino Museum or something? Yeah, the Natural History Museum. Natural History awesome. Museum. I love yeah, Canberra. Yeah. I'm all about it. One I mean, in New York's better. Yeah. The biggest problem is. is there's only two places to drink in Canberra, I'm pretty sure. So. Moose heads? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ask Barnaby for some more tips. <laughs> just like, I, I'd, I would literally go up there right now and like recreate a Barnaby just laying on the, just do an AFL Today show laying yeah. on my back. Why not? Out the front of somewhere doing, you know, I don't know, an entire show from Canberra. Do we have any takes out of the two games that we've seen so far this round? Uh, Richmond and Melbourne last night was really bad that Melbourne First off, even we were talking about on the live stream, yeah. Stephen May apologised to, to everyone, to the to the coverage, saying sorry for that first half because Did that was Did he apologise for being a dingus as well? Uh, no, he's okay. never going to apologise for that, he but should. it was one of the most sensible things I've heard him say. He just if said, he's we not going to apologise to the milkshake, he's yeah. not going to apologise. Exactly right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but either way, 40 years back, we still have five games to go after this evening. We have a Friday night game, we've got a bunch. Basically, the cool thing is, and Alex has been flipping, like literally, he was doing car wheels before. Uh, because there is no overlap. No overlap. No, uh, yeah, That's we good. love that. My yeah. favourite two words. No overlap. <laughs> no overlap. <laughs> then free food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but in terms of some news, uh, Marlene Pickett was like, hey, Clayton Oliver, what bang And just punched him in the guts. I understand that our precedent so far this year is like, oh, if you hit somebody in the guts, yeah, we're we'll going to find you. Yeah. You're not going to get suspended. Still not a good At look. At the same time. Haven't we gotten to a point where it's like, stop hitting people. I know. Don't hit people while playing footy. It's not part of the game. You're just hitting a dude. If you want to go hit a dude, be a boxer. Go join some MMA clubs. Fair just call. If, look, I understand my biggest thing is the human body craves contact. I get it. That's fine. But don't <laughs> punch people. <laughs> That's like, If I just walked up to Stats Guy, punched this him is, in the this guts. This happened yesterday. <laughs> this is a replay of yesterday's show. <laughs> if I punched you in the guts, yeah. you know what our boss would say? You're gone, mate. Get up, Stats Guy. He'd say, you're right. Get up, stats boy. Come on. Yeah. Grow, grow up it, whereas if he punched you in the jaw, Jim would get fired. But if oh, post NBA Australia, it'd be a weird, it'd be a weird punch weird in the line. stomach. I reckon Jim would get like a stern warning from HR. Like he flinched. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Jim flinching. Pow, pow. No, but seriously, just stop hitting people. It's yes. not that hard. Yes. Anyway, Marlene Pickett gets a big six and a half grand, basically, or well, six thousand two hundred fifty dollar 
Was Fine. there was there the public holiday learning for that one too? Yeah, ten percent. <laughs> the public holiday was ten percent. Yeah, ten percent surcharge. <laughs> he's, basically, he's got to like swipe his that card. Is a great. Was, like, yeah. What do you mean? No, oh, we've got. We only got the little. Swipe well, they flashed here. it out. Was like twelve thousand and whatever for today, where it's usually nine thousand yeah. nine hundred. It's like that's a surcharge. I love the yeah. surcharge for the uh, for the security <laughs> cards. <laughs> We're going to pay them extra. You're going to get charged extra. Uh, but it is a massive, massive, massive weekend of football ahead, though, uh, because we've got some look. There are some very fascinating games in here where you learn a lot. Could you say season defining, Jim? Probably not season defining. Some I think, teams. I think teams. a couple of them have like very interesting Adelaide. moments where it's like your season might be cooked if you lose. Yeah. That would be Adelaide. Uh, but shall we start there with the previews? Previews, Why previews, not? previews, previews, previews. Let's do it. Port Adelaide, 20 and a half point favorites against St Kilda at the Adelaide yeah, Oval on big. Friday night. This is a big four Friday night footy game. Yeah. Why yeah. is St Kilda getting so many marquee games? This sucks. They made the finals last year, but they never, they never played like exciting They footy, deserve they? to be in the North time slot. Beautiful Sunday Arvo time slot. I'm going to sick Eric Banner onto you. <laughs> Eric Banner's going <laughs> to have some Banner. words. Old mate from Troy, that's Hulk, fine. Hulk. On. Eric Banner is going to be like, Alex, I've heard enough. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, go to sleep, he's go a, to sleep. He's big man. Uh, get Goxie onto you as well, big St Kilda boy. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah I like isn't Goxie. half a marmalade cool. or St Kilda as well? They and, just have kids just of mates. every team. Yeah, mates. yeah, they just love uh, every team. The over-under, 162.5 at the Adelaide Oval. The Saints, can they kick a score to hit that? That was the big Port question. Adelaide can. Oh, is that the question? That was the, oh. Well, no, that's not actually. The big question is, can St. Oh, Kilda kick a winning score? No. I'm actually just asking if they can kick a score to get oh, this no. over. No. That's what I meant for that big question. Okay. Just just because then their offense isn't, it can't fire without, uh, the way Ross goes about it, they just defend and then, no, nah, we're not going to kick, kick enough, enough that it goes over because Charlie, they can yeah. kick 130, 140. Talking about St. Kilda yeah. kick 50. Talking about kicking enough, you got Charlie Dixon back in. Yeah. He's going to kick a couple of goals. I think he could kick a bag. That's a very game. nice lead into the ins and outs here. It is, guys. it is. So Port Adelaide, welcome back. Charlie Dixon, Travis Burke, Dylan Williams. Dylan Williams. Not Dylan Williams. Uh, Dylan Williams. Dylan Gillen. Uh, St. Kilda, Dougal Howard and uh, Angus Hasty. So they lose Dan Butler, who pinged a hammy after coming on as the sub. Honestly, that's not a bad Last outcome for St. Because he's been not horrible. Great. And King isn't back either. And Zach Jones yeah. has been admitted because everybody else went, he's not good at footy. <laughs> uh, Ryan Burton, Soldo, and Jed McEntee out for uh, Port. They still look very, very imposing. And I struggle to look at St. Kilda and go, right, you're going to score enough nope. to keep up with Port. Yeah, you also, what happens when the most handsome man is like, I was not great last him. week. Yeah. I'm going to lift and be awesome again. Mm. I like that. I'm going to go Port plus uh, 32 points. Yeah. I think they – look, I think this will be a grind because it's going to make everything a grind. But Port are that yeah, much – Yeah, that's what I reckon. Like they have that much class They'll show and that flashes. much quality that uh, – especially at home, they should run over the top of them. So Port by 32, stats boy. Yeah, as we saw them against Essendon. Essendon obviously played really well today. They just dominated <laughs> the Adelaide Oval. Saints, though – they use the clamps, as you, Jim always they likes do. to say. So I'm going to say by 29, it'll be close to probably three-quarter time. Paul will kick away. Dixon will have a big game. And Rosie and Butters, I reckon, both 30-plus. Well, they lost both like 10 goals to Western Bulldogs last week, right? Yeah. And they looked absolutely Well, well Port as well had a 70-point turnaround, which was obviously Collingwood's a very good team. Collingwood but that was a horrible yeah, effort. Yeah, let's also remember, them. Collingwood are a decent team. What a Port. We're not sure yet. No one knows. We're frauds. frauds. Yeah, frauds, as you would say. But yeah, I reckon they're frauds against one. teams that are not are in the eight. What yeah. a St Kilda. Someone was trying not to in the eight. Eight. not in the eight. Someone was trying them. to yell me. He's like, when Port beat Freo, they are in the eight. It's like, round two doesn't count, no, buddy. Doesn't exactly. Count. So, yeah, Port by 29. In the eight, like round six onwards, I think. Yeah. Mm. That's now. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Uh, Alex? Port smash him. All right. Nice. Good analysis. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? That's what points. Uh, I said 37, but it could be 60. Okay. Sure. Nice. Yeah, that is, it does feel like. It's tough to sort of imagine, like St Kilda. So they played a. Famous if St Kilda win, it's like fifty nine to fifty four, and it's gross. Mm. It was St Kilda, right? That last game of gather round last year against uh, Collingwood at the Adelaide Oval. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like that's St Kilda's only way of sort of getting into a game like this, right? They're just coming from the clouds out of nowhere and just going, "Oh, we've actually remembered how to play footy," and like Higgins and Membry just come out of nowhere and like kick a bunch of bags. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Don't see it though. Lear, Lear and Radical nah. are just like, yeah, nah. We're going to Tassie on Saturday. Oh, That's right. North not... Melbourne versus Adelaide, the game of the round. <laughs> <laughs> not the game of the round. Uh, Adelaide are basically five goal favourites, 28 and a half points. The over under is 175 and a half because everyone's gone, wait, North Melbourne can't defend anybody. And Adelaide sometimes they can kick enough score. But 
Adelaide at least can boot a score here and there. Yeah. So I guess the over yeah. under, I'm going to go the over in this one. Yeah. At Blunston Arena. I don't know what the wind's doing. Yeah, the wind always, it's either like massive gust or it's going sideways. Yeah. Or. You want to know what the wind is doing? I want to know what those cows are doing outside of Blundstone Arena where you're like, hey, there's cows over there. So that's fun. <laughs> are they Jeremy good. Cameron's? Probably Maybe, not. yeah. They escaped <laughs> from John. This is a chaos game because North, what are they, Sats boy? Oh, I was going to swear there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really bad. And I haven't won a game. The only winless team. Is that winless was the phrase. I, I didn't really for. want to say that, but you've led me to it. Yeah, not not good at all. Used to be really good in Tassie, but uh, I think it's two and eight. Oh, no, sorry. I'm trying to remember what it was now. Two and tw- I thought uh, it was one nine, and nine. One and nine or something like that in their last 10, yeah, in in uh, in Tassie, which is a really bad record for I your home away from I home. I tipped them to beat the Giants last year. Yeah, well, that was... It was in Tassie. It was yeah, in the middle of the year. In the middle of the year. That was a weird game. But, yeah, I, I just don't see North getting close at all just because uh, Adelaide's really good forward line. That, I think, has to fire at some point, Jim. Round seven. We're getting very close to being Alistair Clarkhouse. Clarkhouse? Uh, Alistair <laughs> Pagan? Oh, uh, Clarkhouse, Malthouse. Malthouse? Just Mal- so. Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. I Alistair remember. Clarkfold? But Clark- <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sounds Clark good. Fold. Clark Fold's gonna, he's going to fold, yeah. Because it's literally, like, at least Malthouse did the west coast of Collingwood... Like, yeah, successful switch that worked. Mm-hmm. Then he went to Carlton. It was very. It was bad. that Bulldogs as well? I think Bulldogs, Bulldogs before. Yeah, West Coast. Then was Richmond. Then wasn't he? he was a player. Oh, he was oh, a player yeah, Richmond. player. Yeah, uh, been everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Galaxy Brain. Oh God, can we do it? Jim, as a North Melbourne fan, <laughs> don't give us. I'm telling you, it's a waste of a tip. But actually, for the for the uh, for the clicks, tip us. I'm going to take North. I'm going to go north, <laughs> by, north by eight points. You know who's not convincing at all? North. Adelaide. Nah, Adelaide. Adelaide have been really bad. So what are they at? One and six? One and five. Or one and five, sorry, because they didn't play the first round. Yeah. So the big question is, like, literally, will Adelaide's forward line finally fire? And it probably will. This is the game that it has to be. That's my big question. Can yeah. the Crows' defense, they are wearing those amazing Anzac Day jerseys. That's fine. That's very cool. Good on you. Mm-hmm. Going to be down in there in Adelaide. You know what happens in... Sorry, down there in Tassie. You know what happens in Tassie? <laughs> weird stuff. Weird stuff. Not just on the footy field. There's a lot of weird Lots stuff of happens weird there. Stuff. Yeah, that's true. It's basically like if you've ever seen the movie Deliverance, it's just that bit of state. Uh, <laughs> okay, you missed a, a few uh, the prey reference, Predator, Alien vs Predator, and prey. That references. movie Prey is wicked. Just <laughs> yeah. check it out. We're gonna do a live stream about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the Adelaide forward line, right? So it should fire against this horrible. It should North kick 160 defense. points. It should. It, well, it, it should at least kick 120. It never happens. Weird stuff just happens in Tassie. Didn't Geelong like, kick like 30 goals No, we've gotten smashed day. there in the last couple of years. 13! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Buddy's kicked 13. That was the other, was that, no, that was the other ground, though. That was the one in That Nova. was at Launceston, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. James I'm going to go place. north by eight. I think you oh. just sneak out, out of absolutely nowhere. Gee, What's your bloody logic other so. than Galaxy Brain? The logic is quite simply, look, Adelaide's midfield has got holes in it the size of like the Milky Way. So do we. I was going to say like Swiss cheese. The ruse We're midfield bottom two is midfield at the moment, yeah. But at the same time, I think they can just eke this out because if they don't, <laughs> if they don't. Yeah, but if Adelaide don't, that's what worse. happens. Like Adelaide, their season's probably done, but the North season's, season's already, already over. They have to show something. And I I'll think be something. literally, if we win, I'll be in head to toe North Gear on uh, whenever we're coming here on Tuesday. Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday night. Perfect. North Melbourne onesie. All right. Oh, I'll find one, yeah. What's your pick stats, boy? Oh, sadly, I've got to go Adelaide by 39. I reckon we'll cover the 1-39 to 39 bet uh, for Adelaide. But, yeah, I think their forward line's too strong. If if we come up against some big forwards, like Tex could kick a bag here. Rochelle finally could do something. Fogarty, we just don't have enough guys. We're rotating Biggie. We're rotating Pink. Rochelle, rotating, Saligo. Saligo, just, yeah. Wait, and Biggie even, got selected, right? And then... Uh, we didn't just get dropped. Look. Oh, we didn't do the ins and outs. Oh, that's, sorry. Yeah, that's that a good seems call. Like uh, board, yeah, in uh, Hardiman and Wardlaw, two great names for any Well, Hardiman's and playing Sellers. his uh, debut game, which will be interesting. And then Salah's admitted because he only had four touches across his two games, which I was a bit sad about. Yuck. Ford injured. He's actually been really good, Ford. So hey, the fan favourite's back. Lukey Pedler's back in. No, the, the fan favourite. I'll be watching the crows, this. <laughs> Matt Crouch and Elliot Himmelberg. Let's go. Out goes Brody Smith, Gaunt, and Sam Berry. Sam Berry? Uh, Told you shouldn't have started after kicking that goal. Well, Tough no. one. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't tip North. Unfortunately, Alex, we lost. We lost to the literally. I the mean, North, I, so. I guess Adelaide will win because it's North. Yeah, yeah. I think that's an easy tip, isn't it? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Jim's gonna be coming in on Clark Sunday night. I'll, on, I'll, I'll be here to right? tow North gear in a second. <laughs> I'll bring you some North girls. All right, Saturday afternoon. afternoon, Geelong Carlton. Geelong are two and a half point favorites over the Blues. They are the unbeaten Cats, the remaining unbeaten team at the MCG. The it is at the G. This is 4.35 in the afternoon. I'll be there with the squid. I'll be there, yeah. Uh, 169 and a half. It seems weird because... Over. 
Ooh. I mean, Carlton have put up a couple of decent scores, but those games have been a marvel. Well, we saw what? Uh, the G. What's the weather all? We saw 85 all today, and I think the, the two forward lines of Geelong and Carlton are much better than the two that's we true, saw today. That's true. That's true. There is a lot more scope for goals. 17 and sunny. Fine weather. Yeah. Over. Oh, yes, we're going over. Uh, well, what will Jim's heart rate be again in I'll this game? I'll just chuck that in there because it's funny every week talking about that. <sighs> So 220 minus 43. So 260. 260. 43. <laughs> Who's 43? What the hell? I don't want to get aged up. Uh, can Carlton's midfield take over? Yes. They probably can. Yes. And I think that's where they're most dangerous. Yes. I still think the Cats actually win this, but Ooh. the simple idea is going to be the Blues probably pr- put up a pretty good fight. Charlie Kerno loves playing against the Cats. He loves the G. It sort no of Tom works. Stewart. They have no Tom Stewart. So the ins and outs that is a this big game. Out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zach Tui, Reece Stanley, Cam Guthrie come in for the Cats, but they do lose Tom Stewart. They lost Toby Conway as well. Cam Guthrie like, is a huge in, by the way. He's I, very he got handy. injured, what is it, the first round or in pre-season? No, pre-season. 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 And they the, really need that that drive in midfield. So I think that's a massive in. The they, they need that drive in the midfield. They're 6-0. Yeah, no, but they still. I, they I think looks, they can get. They better. still that's look that's slow. A, sorry, yeah. that's how good they're going. But I think they can get even better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carlton unchanged because Zach Williams and Jacob Wiedering came up, which is good. Yeah, very handy. Uh, yeah. Wiedering was big on my tip for this game. Yep. They're also going again with the two bigs, obviously Pitto and uh, De Koning, well, along with Mackay. Geelong, Geelong don't have a ruck, so they're trying to dominate the tools. Trying to, but the problem is you then go right. What are we going to do? What are we going to sacrifice while well, Pitto's being run around mm. by Reese Stanley and Co. And you're like, oh, geez, it's probably not yeah. great, but. Look, I think Geelong get this done just because I think they're a little bit more of a complete team. They are really, really damaging. We saw them last week, just like their composure. Any conditions, yeah. Doesn't matter. They just deleted Brisbane in that second half. Yeah. It was awesome. Carlton, they looked inexorable at times in that third quarter. The rest of the game was a bit, woo. Uh, and I think we'll see a little bit, woo, in, that, <laughs> in this game. So I'm going to go, I think it's Geelong by about 16. Yep. Uh, stats guy? Uh, I'm going to go Geelong. Geelong by nine just because... Carlton just love a close game. They love it. Under two kicks yeah. usually, under two goals. So Jim, Jim's heart area will be up again. I'm going to get you. Go, go then by nine. Ollie, Hen- the likes of like Ollie Henry, you've got their forward line is just absolutely cooking at the moment. I love watching. It's the also line. that size. Of that, the size of that forward line versus yeah. the size of Carlton's back line yeah. is a worry. Like you got Weeders, but then you've got No McGovern. You've got a lot of Lewis Cameron, Young, Brody, Hawkins, Kemp and Henry, stuff. You're like, yeah. geez. Yeah. So the three, you know, the Geelong Towers, basically the Shell Towers, shall we call them? Uh, <laughs> What is it? Yeah, Hawkins, Cameron, and Henry. Holly Henry. Yeah. It's like yeah, they've been brutal. great for. Uh, uh, well, except for Hawkins, actually, last week he was pretty average. I think he'll bounce it's back. Because it was a monsoon. It wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't a, a day game. for Hawkins. No. Come on! <laughs> he'll, he'll How play well. dare you? <laughs> he'll play well this week, I think. Respect the power forwards. Yeah. And Alex saying that flag is four goals. Four goals. Yeah, I'm. Oh, you I'm, said forty points yesterday. Yeah, well, that's the big call. But I'm no. pretty keen on the flaggers here. I'm. I'm all about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know Jim hates it, but also more importantly, there was a draw today. In the Anzac yeah, Day game. Yeah. You know what happened the last time there was a draw in the Anzac Day game, Jim? Who's well, won the flag? Flaggers. Oh. 1995. Why'd you a- tell him that? <laughs> okay, the greatest year of my life, baby. <laughs> Shout out real. to Caroline. That's yeah, a great, that's a great one. <laughs> probably 2007 when I met her. <laughs> oh, oh, She's our biggest fan on social media, by the way. Shout out to mi- Jim's missus. Nice. Frio, take on the Bulldogs out west at Optus Stadium oh, on Saturday God. night. Frio, two and a half point favourites randomly against Western Bulldogs. It's always at home, yeah. Not sure why. Because it's at home. Whoever was at home was going to be the favourite. I favorite. think so too. Yeah. Over-under is 162 and a half. Uh, can the dogs win two games in a row? Did they just win two games in a row? No. No, 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 no. They got smashed they, by us. They exactly. are so they much lost, roller coaster like, and half. The roller coaster. Can they do it? Will they? Yes. No. Right. I think they can. I think the forward line just a bit too big. You got you got Luke Ryan, who obviously has gone really well, but they've got a lot of guys for that love to take inset marks and aren't the best one on one. You got Pierce, who's really good one on one, but then you got Clark, Hayden Young, a lot of guys that like to peel off for a mark, but aren't the best one on one, and they aren't as tall as the dogs forward. So I mean, I think the dogs can get two in a row. Nah. <laughs> so <laughs> the dogs. Ins and outs. The dogs nah. bring back Tom Liberatore in place of Riley Sanders. That's a huge in, yeah. Bevoed. Bevoed, Riley's, yeah. That, so who got Bevoed? Like? Riley who Sanders. got Bevoed? <laughs> Riley Sanders did again. Oh, sad. Uh, in for Freo are Heath Chapman, Mark yeah, Friedrich. This is big. Patrick Voss, Cooper oh, Simpson. Frederick they lose Jaya Miss, mm. which is brutal. Neil Erasmus. Sam Sturt, Ethan Hughes. Erasmus hasn't been too he bad. He was horrendous he was last week. Hughes, Hughes did nothing. I looked at it, I was like, watching the replay last week, I was like, yeah, Hughes is going to get dropped. But Frederick's a big in. He, he brings a bit of spark, a bit of spunk to that team. I miss a miss, though. <laughs> I love a miss. Look at a replay. Uh, still, that said, I'm going to go the dogs. Yep. 
I think they get it. I'm going to say by a couple of goals. So two, well, two goals basically on the nose, 12 points. Stats boy, you're going the dogs. Yeah, I'm going to go them by 30. I think they're going to win easy. They uh, won last time over there in Freo. They've got a really strong, I think, four and two in their last six there. Really know how to win the West. A couple of those, of course, against West Coast. But still, they've, they've been Freo there multiple times across the last couple of years. So... I'm going to go dogs. Nice one. Alex. I'm just tipping Freo because it's in Perth. Like I literally it's have, a hard I game, have really. no idea what either team's going to do. Yeah, fair. And I hate it. The line's two and a half. Make it cool. Freo. By two and a half? <laughs> By three. <laughs> By three. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sunday. It's the coast battle. The battle of the coast. The coast is. The coast of the coast. If you will, Jim. I like this. Gold Coast versus West Coast. <laughs> Gold Coast, 31 and a half point favorites against West Coast at People First Stadium, okay, aka Heritage, Heritage Bank. Bank Stadium, aka up north. Uh, <laughs> the over under is 166 and a half. Can West Coast kick enough to keep up? Yeah, nah. Uh, nah. Nah. Wait, Wait, what? I don't think so. Waterman's going to win the bloody Coleman at the I moment. Know, I know, but uh, he doesn't have his good delivery without Harley Reid in there. Or He's I don't still know. got Tim Kelly and, Tim and, and uh, Elliot Yo in there. I know, All Australian Yo. Spirit, Elliot Yo. It's a spiritual beast of Harley Reid. They also gonna... bring back Liam Ryan. Okay, fine, Andrew Ryan's Gaff. Back. Nah, that's not a good in. Luke Liam Edwards, Ryan Harvey is. Johnson, Harry Edwards, Joe Kelly. Uh, it's, uh, it's extended uh, bench. Extended bench good. for Kelly's Sunday. Good. They lose Tom Barras, obviously, to suspension. Noah Long's out and Harley Reid. Oh, where, oh, where is my Harley, Harley Reid? He's in Melbourne. He's been managed this week for me. As a preview of uh, next week's session. Coming out next week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's literally in Melbourne. He flew to Melbourne. We're going to get that on record. Just hanging out. Uh, next week, I mean... I want to just see way more Harley Reid all the time. Yeah, just sad that they're resting. Why are we resting? I know. Just because he's a he's a first year player, and you don't want to burn him out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like we're go, we're taking a trip to Gold Coast. It's the longest trip in. I know they need him. They no, it's just like yeah, we'll chalk this one up as an L. Mm. Like, I probably thought it out at the start of the season. Yeah, by the time we get to the Gold Coast, you've played five games straight maybe, in the first yeah, year. Maybe we'll rest you. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. For the Suns, Rory Atkins, Alex Sexton, Sam Day, Dustin McPherson, Ned Moylan, uh, Reed and Uland out. Um, well, Reed played a couple of games in a row, similar vibes. Give, give, give him a rest. rest. Yeah, go, yeah. go back to the twos and maybe get some confidence. Play a half there. Mm-hmm. I think the Suns smash them. Yeah, yeah. This I think is so a too. big, 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 big win. I Do think. the Suns have the speed to keep up with West Coast midfield? Like if Gaff and Kelly, are uh, not Gaff, if Yo and Kelly start running out of the midfield. Like Tuk Tuk and, and Matt Rowe aren't the fastest players. But they are Anderson very good at like... Flanders and Co. I think you're fine. But Flanders a bit half back. Yeah, and Flanders. you got Mac Andrews up the back just going, wha-pang! They are pretty good at like not allowing people to break out because like, yeah. they're all really good at tackling. Tuk and yeah. Matt Rowe especially are gun tacklers. So I think that'll help them. I mean, uh, the big question is, can West Coast play well without Harley Reid? I think they'll be fine without Harley I think... I wouldn't say fight. They'll be they'll... It's a couple they're of still going to get smashed. No, no, but, yeah. They're like, like a three-goal better side with him. I agree, yeah. I don't know about three goal. I think they're a substantially better side, but I think it's hard to measure one person's impact, yeah. even if with five games in, with yeah. five games. <laughs> yeah. Rank all five of Harley <laughs> Reid's games. <laughs> okay, so last week, one. last week, last one. week one. I don't know. Which one's two? two. <laughs> Richmond three. Why, why don't we go? Why don't we just go five, four, three, two? I think one. that's basically how it it's. Goes. It's yeah. literally lo- it's it's the 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 Derby, the Swans game, the Richmond game. Oh yeah. All right, Gold Coast by forty eight. <laughs> Stats boy. Uh, I'm going to go 38. Pretty similar, but they should win pretty comfortably. As Alex said, their midfield isn't too bad, and they're not. They've got a lot of their players. Going well. So if Liam Ryan's a big in. He'll kick a few snags. This is a this is a big Suns day for King with with no yep. uh, no Barras playing. It depends who McGovern goes to because I doubt he'll go to Jed Walter. But King needs to show something here because mm-hmm. he dead set did nothing last week. His second efforts were poor. Whereas um, awesome ass Jed Walter. Was just yeah, sick. Jim loves a Jim's Jim new favorite player. I love Jed Ward. <laughs> God, he's good. Going to get a jersey. Uh, Alexi, what's your pick? Uh, I'm Gold Coast by about four goals. Yep. Nice. I think, yeah, I think West Coast keep it tight because Gold Coast sort of kick away and it's just Gold yeah, Coast. Better team, yeah. Gold Coast will have that one pathetic quarter. It is, they love it is a rule. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's a rule. It's like, they, what's his name? Dimmer. Dimmer yeah. just writes up. Oh, All right, boys. Been too good to, to first quarter, quarters. nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's the Gold, Gold Coast corollary. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't know. The second quarter will score one point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, the final game of round seven. More than a quarter of the way through the season. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hawthorne versus Sydney. The Swans are only 18 and a half yeah, point favourites. Low. Why is that? It's at the MCG yes, on Sunday afternoon yes. at 4 p.m. The over under is 172 and a half. This feels like very much of a, uh, well, the Hawks have got a couple of good ins, uh, and we've seen the Swans get into shootouts with the likes of Essendon and co. 
Will Day, Mitch Lewis, Max Rams didn't come in for the Hawks. Mm-hmm. Swans bring in Laddams, Kostansky. It's and just a three Francis. extended bench, yeah. Standard bench, easy as that. I feel like the Swans probably shrug off the G hoodoo here a yeah. little bit and Surely. probably put the Hawks to the sword. This, yeah, this this is the line bet of the weekend. If you if you're a better, that the, is. the comparison is because you lost to Richmond, obviously at the G. Who do you think is tracking better at the moment, Hawthorne or Richmond? Probably Richmond because at least they're vaguely. They mean in games, yeah. Well, not bunches. yesterday, but other than but other they were competitive yesterday. in the first half. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's so, true. Uh, so I'd, I'd I'd lean towards that as well. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. If this game was at Marvel, would the line be thirty five points? Ooh. Possibly because yeah, Sydney's running game would be better at Marvel. Probably. I'm trying to have a look at their record at the G before I uh, the get Swans. Oh, no, well, last year we didn't win. It, we didn't win a game in the MCG. We played there four times. The year before, we three were, and seven last three years. So not yeah. not great at all. But you'd, you'd expect them to win pretty comfortably against. Uh, yeah. You did smash them last year, one eighteen to thirty seven. Yeah, that was that was round <laughs> two at, of the SCG. At the, at the SCG. And then Jeez. I think the year before it was Anzac Day, and we beat them by seventy points. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, 10968. 10968. That was, yeah, but it was Anzac Day, wasn't it? Yes, uh, yes it was. Okay, it 40 was. points, yeah. Yep. So, Callum yeah. Mills was awesome that I day. I think I they... Look, there's moments where Hawthorne do look vaguely competitive, but yeah. we don't know if it's this game. But they've also had their patches where they play one terrible quarter, like we saw in the first quarter on Easter Monday, and if they do that to the Swans, the Swans will kick six or seven goals there. Uh, the midfield is just too strong. Yeah, I think I'm going Swans by 30 just because... Uh, Hawks finished strong. They they finished strong against Geelong. Can, they yeah. finished strong against the uh, Pies when teams probably put the foot off the break a little bit. I reckon Swans might be up this by 40 or 50 and then they the come back a bit. off the break? This is all... Take. Take, take the foot off the break. That sounds better, yeah. Take the foot off the pedal. This is also... <laughs> you've funny. also got to consider the Swans are second game after a bye, whereas Hawthorne are, what, six games in a row now? So it's also... It might be a bit tired, That yeah. thing, it's like the Swans are going to run out the game stronger, you would think. Yep. I think this is Swans really make a statement go, yeah, MCG hoodoo, not a thing. Ten, 10 goals plus easily. Okay. That is the big question. Will Sydney finally dominate at the G? Well, it's, Alex believes yes. Yeah. It's also, we did dominate Collingwood. We beat them, they beat them by five goals, like in that's, round, that's a big in win, round yeah. one. So yep. it's that's a pretty big scalp. So I'd be disappointed if the Swans didn't win this by uh, any more than four goals. Fair enough. I'm yeah. going Sydney by 28. I think there's enough competitiveness in Hawthorne. But is it just one of those ones? Just like the Swans are always winning. It's just like yeah. Five I think goals. they yeah. I I think around that margin that. will be the whole game. I reckon they'll come out sort of breathing fire and they'll okay. just whack him in the face in the first quarter and put it to bed. <laughs> yep. Nice. Heen machine. Heen low. So sixty plus for Alex. Yep. Whoa. Interesting. I'd hate to see it flip the other way. <laughs> Big call for the weekend ahead. Uh, Charlie kicks six against the Cats and the Blues lose. That's a big call. That I, is. Think, I think he snags oh, wait, six. Wait, he kicks six and they lose. Jeez. And I think everything else call. sort of falls apart because it is weird the way the Carlton Ford line works. Harry, has, Harry has really stepped up. But if he at least has like the clamps putting him a little bit, um, Charlie can go off and the Blues still won't kick a winning score. Yeah, okay. Like I'm really worried about that Geelong forward line mm. against his Carlton back line. So, yeah. Lack of size. Stats boy? Uh, I think this is Noah Anderson's probably biggest breakout game. I'm going 40 touches against the uh, the, co- the other coasters, West Coast. Wait, Noah Anderson's breaking out? That's no, the big, his biggest breakout. So uh, he's, he's probably his best game I think he's going to have again on the weekend. No Harley Reid. I think that's a massive out. I think this is going to be a statement Suns game where they, they play really well, have a big lead early. Noah Anderson, he's had 33-plus touches in three games already this year, so I reckon he can get a few more uh, against, this, against the uh, West Coast this weekend. Sure. Yeah. Alex? Logan McDonald kicks six. Ooh. Sure. Hawthorne in three of their losses have conceded over 100 points. Their other one was 93 to Melbourne. Yep. We had that weird Collingwood game, and then last weekend, your pathetic team. Only no, Marty Party. Points. No, Marty Party. He kicked four last week. Yeah. I think he, he got three votes against Hawthorne last year and cost yeah. all the Brownlow. Yeah. yeah. I reckon there'll be a lot of he goals. He played a half a footy, kicked four goals, got the three votes, and Errol loses the Brownlow by one oh. or two. Bloody <laughs> Marty. <laughs> oh, mate. No, mate. <laughs> that is. Uh, Still the funniest reaction ever. Joel and Marty, three votes, they all lose their mind. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Keep an eye on what are we looking at this weekend as these games progress. Bulldogs, Saints, and Frio. Consistency question mark. Well, that, that word, should, I put it in there. It shouldn't even really be in the same sentence as those three. Just want to see if any of them can give us a couple of weeks in a row. But I was about to say, if St Kilda come out and win, that is the opposite of consistency. Yeah, I mean, I mean like is this it, week and next it, week. I was yeah. about to say, if they get smashed, does that mean they're just consistently bad? Actually, yeah, that's another point. If Frio, they get same smashed, sort of thing, right? Frio, yeah. if, Frio, if Saints and Frio get smashed, then we can say yes. They were consistent, consistent yeah. consistently and bad. And that's Frio three losses in a row. Yeah. Four losses. Uh, Four. Hawks and Sydney, 
Versus, you know, Sydney's form at the uh, MCG. Hawks, be a big yeah, one. usually stay with sides at the G. Sydney always hasn't been too good, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've also gotten run over at the G. They've so. given up their 100 points in their three games at the MCG. Yeah, okay. So Fair. It's a tough one. West Coast away from home. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for me, Go- I Gold flip, Coast at home. I want to flip that around. <laughs> yeah. Gold Coast Not in home. Darwin, yeah. They might just be like an absolute, you know, dominating team at home and stink everywhere else. That's fine. That's, and, that's Richmond. Like they're consistent oh. at home and pathetic yeah. everywhere else. Yeah, but Gold Coast actually win games. Yeah. Uh, unbeaten Geelong. Can they stay that way? No. And I hit this on I Wednesday think so, show. Yeah. If they keep just not losing. You said the next four weeks. They've they... got five crazy tough weeks this yeah. play coming up. If they beat Carlton, like that's a huge, lids huge off. statement. So, mm. yeah, the lid's off for the Cats. Yeah. Uh, Supercoach tips and vibes. I hope you VC'd Gornicus. Yeah. yeah. Maximus Aurelius Gornicus uh, yesterday. 162. He got Dacos, actually exactly his projected score, which was 162. Weird. You love to see that. Uh, Dacos was pretty handy today. What did he end up? 130? 138 or something. 133. Yeah. yeah. So, look, if you haven't In the VC'd, 130s. You haven't VC'd them, I think you're in a You're struggling, strife. yeah. Uh, the trades ins, you got Garcia's coming out your ears. Both Garcia's, yeah. Uh, you got Sam Walsh, obviously, is a big mm-hmm. trade target. He loves smashing the cats. Uh, what else are we looking at, Stats Boy? Uh, I was just going to say about captains. Uh, if if you hadn't uh, had a good VC, I'd go Heaney against the Hawks. I think yep. you could have a big game. Yeah. Alex would be all over that. Sheasel as well. He's probably been consistent. Other than that 110, I think all of his other scores have been over Bond. 130. Bond. Yeah. Out west. Yeah. yeah. He's he actually does really go really well at off the stadium as well. So you still got options, but you got a Rosie, you'd be filthy Ro- if you didn't have a good VC starting. Yeah, I was about to say Rosie, Butters. Yep. Even stupid sexy Flanders against West Coast. But stupid out of all of them, I think idea, the most reliable Heaney at the G against yep. the Hawks. Yeah. Because he got Haines. he got what one forty, one fifty against yeah, Collingwood like and he had a he had a yes, great score against did. Richmond as well. Mm. So not bad. Yeah. yeah. But there you go. Awesome. That's it for AFL today for this week. I'll tell you what, that is the Thursday night team show. We've done the entire live stream. We did the Wednesday yeah. show. There's oh, lots of AFL good. today content floating around right now. Uh, thank you to Alex for basically running over here from the G. Uh, He's shout still puffing. Yeah, shout out to you guys. You did you did the live stream. I just lobbed in for this. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty puffed. Three yeah. hours of sitting here drinking spicy kombuchas and talking. Pretty, yeah. pretty it was hard. beautiful. Great game of footy. Uh, thank you, Stats Boy. Thank you. What a day. You've done a great job. I think Cheers. it's footy. You too. I like footy. All right, hurry up. The game's about to start. All right. Remember <laughs> to smash a like across all the AFL Today socials. So you can see us doing things, talking stuff out. Uh, what do we do? We ranked all the Anzac Day Guernseys. This yeah, that's going well. It was very yeah. fun. Go that. check that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facey, IG, X, Threads, TikTok, YouTube, all the good stuff there. Subscribe, star, and like all of our shows across all of your podcast apps. Cricket Today podcast, Football Today podcast, NBA Australia. I did an incredible, awesome audio-only NBA Australia just flying Chris, through today. Chris. Yeah, God, it was good. <laughs> uh, NFL Australia as well. Get around all of them. Hold all tickets as well. Oh, hold all tickets. The horsey one. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's up. We did that this morning too. I like producer Gerald enjoyed that one. He's like, that's funny. Uh, get all around them. Like James Hurd getting around hair extensions in 2011. <laughs> Not Kevin Shady with the red wine this afternoon. Oh, he was getting stuck in. How yeah. good he was. He also had the record and was marking it yeah, off with we a pen. Talking, we were talking about that. Yeah. Nothing better than watching Kevin Shady. Mark down scores in his footy record. Yes. All right. That's it. We'll catch you on Sunday night to wrap up round seven because that's what we do here at AFL today. We look after you for all things footy. So look after yourselves and remember, footy's back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With sports today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.